had this thing for a while growing on your back. Oh huh? yeah, it's been there a long time. It's a little. Do you ever get? Does it get caught? You can't. Now you can wear all your gold chains again. Finally. Right? Show. I might have done that before. So we have this cerebriform nevus. It's really kind of sitting up, Maybe and it's one cute. time. I might have done that once. I probably do it to most people once. Take from the side. Yeah. Not hurting you, right? Because you put numbing there. Nope. All gone. It's that easy. See, I know. Trim it right there. All gone and nice and clean. And here's our little, our cute little, our cute little mole here. You want to see it up close? Look, this is the first time you've probably seen it. Oh, that's big. Yeah. You have these on your elbows. Can I see your other elbows? Mm -hmm. yeah. This one's not yeah, as bad. Yeah, not as bad. This. And then go back to this. And they just, just, just appeared like, mm -hmm. maybe three months ago. And not really itchy per se, right? No, they don't itch. They don't bother yeah. me at all. These are um, flat-topped kind of uh, pinkish uh, plaques, we call them. And they're on this, they, they are occurring here on your elbows here. I think that this is granuloma annulare. The other thought is something called lichen planus. Both are benign growths. But we're going to take a little sample one just to check it under the microscope and make sure to confirm the diagnosis. Sure. You okay? Yep. I know you don't like needles, but that wasn't too bad, right? Yeah. Not yet. Just the head. The head's going to be... The head? It's not going to be the same. It'll be fine. Think. No, it's not going to hurt more. It doesn't hurt more. I had one frozen mm -hmm. off up here. I bet you could still... I think freezing is worse than this. I'll tell you that. See, if you wanted to look here, because it feels like look it's still second. kind of there. Let me get my little sample here. You shouldn't feel anything other than my touching you. This is a very superficial thing, so we're gonna do a superficial little shave there. So that's it. We're gonna take that little sample and our little. You push on it. It's firm. It moves around. And let's turn your hand sideways here so we can see the bump. See how it's like raised. Open them up. We use it to nick the surface of the skin. So I just wrap it so it becomes my little handle. But first, my patient's my little table here. I have a little alcohol in this. I'm going to have you turn to the side. Okay, good. We're going to have you show this too. Press the, uh, right, which I'm going to put up a little numbing right there. I'm going to put a little numbing there so that you can't feel it. It won't hurt. Okay, you okay? Sure. No, I'm fine. Good. George Clooney, here we come. <laughs> No, man. No. Ah, that's right. He's just like, yeah. Mix it all up. Just want to take a little bit from that little area that we kind of put the numbing in. Here we go. A little buzz here. I'm mean, sorry, not a little buzz, a little pressure. Sorry. I say the wrong thing. You okay? Yeah. Just stuck in there. I got to use a little bit of traction here. You should come up and take a look at that. There you go. There's our little friend right there. I'll show him too. Let me see. Can you see that? Let me get your glasses. I don't think I need to nick or numb underneath. I think it'll just pop out. Are you, are you okay? Well, I'm good. Pressure. I know. You know me. High tolerance. You're a woman. That's why. High tolerance for okay. pain. 